Okay, so we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the preoperative and postoperative post-contrast images in coronal and sagittal view. And we can see that, you know, really the, the vast majority of the tumor has been removed. Uh, there's some been relieving of the significant mass effect, especially on the right aspect of the chiasm and the right optic nerve. There's a little bit of hemorrhage um, in the region of the cell and the cavernous sinus. And this is just to show you um, that on the pre and the post contrast, when there's some inherent hyperintensity, it's not really enhancing. So that's why we know it's blood, not um, enhancing residual tumor. Um, there's still a little bit of residual uplifting of, uh, you know, the third ventricle and the infundibulum, but it, it definitely has come down uh, in comparison to the preoperative scan. So just, she did also have a fairly interesting postoperative course. Um, as noted, understandably, she had a CSF leak requiring a lumbar drain. Um, and then having had a fairly um, uh, stable uh, course uh, from the point of view of her chemistry, as you know, we watch these patients very carefully in the postoperative period for either DI or SIADH. She quite properly dropped her serum sodium, as you can see here, 135 to 130 to 124 over the space of about um, 6 to 12 hours. Her specific gravity was a little on the high side of 1.018, and <clears throat> typically when sodium drops like this, there's a standard order set which is implemented in combination with the neurosurgical and endocrine uh, teams, uh, and she received 3% uh, saline infusion. Um, generally, typically to bring the sodium up to uh, 130, uh, she was also started on sodium chloride tablets, either a gram or two grams, uh, Q6, she was on a gram, and um, she was initiated on fluidocortisone, which is a mineralic corticoid to attempt to retain the, uh, the large amounts of salt that we're giving her, and her urine sodium was 189, which as uh, uh, Dr. Robinson, who is our expert in the uh, salt and uh, water balance disorders uh, will uh, speak more to, but that would suggest that she probably has SIAD hitch. Um, so despite those endeavors, her sodium still remained uh, fairly resistant to, to treatment, and it was only when we increased the flidrocortisone to 0.2 milligrams BID that her sodium came back up to normal, around 138, 142. Um, and perhaps uh, Alan can uh, start a uh, a debate as to whether this was cerebral salt wasting versus SIADH. It's, it's one debate that we sometimes have, uh, myself and the fellows on the <laughs> endocrine service, um, and a lot of times there are several management managements uh, initiated at the same time, and it's sometimes hard to know what actually uh, corrected the problem.